morning everybody i am so excited because i just landed in thailand sorry i kind of look like a mess right now because it was a 14 hour flight to taipei and then a uh four hour flight from taipei to thailand and i couldn't get any sleep last night so i was like you know what i'm just gonna start my day start vlogging for you guys let me show you the view from my room this is the hotel it's absolutely beautiful um but i don't know what i'm doing today i'm just winging it as i'm going i have a few challenges planned but today i'm gonna be just doing a special of eating the 7-eleven at thailand for 24 hours because i don't know 7-eleven in asia is just so impressive and i can't wait to show the kind of specialty dishes that they have in the 7-eleven thailand so we're gonna do that i'm gonna check out the um hotel pool and stuff gonna go work out there and maybe see the scenery a little bit and take you guys around so stay tuned can't wait to show you guys exchanged money at the airport so this is how the uh, Thai money looks like i think it's pronounced ba something like that and one dollar usd is equal to about forty dollars of thai money that's pretty cool for a walk right now and i just gotta appreciate the weather i love like humid heat it's actually not too hot right now because it's still very early in the morning it's like 7 a.m right now um but this weather is absolutely beautiful i think it's like 50 degrees at home and then like right now it's like closer to 70 degrees in the morning and i absolutely love it i love this kind of like humid tropical weather it feels so good Thailand is very close to vietnam it's like right pretty much a neighbor but it looks like the traffic here is a lot less chaotic than it was in Vietnam. But oh, there's even some street vendors. We're definitely going to be checking out street food and stuff as I'm here in Thailand. But so far it looks very similar. This, this is omelets. Ooh, that's cool. I want to try this out. This is a 7-Eleven food, but I got to try this out. Look at that. They're so enthusiastic. I love it. Thank you. Wow. Specialty omelet that he's cooking here. It smells incredible. All right, he's cooking it up there. That's looking so good. I love a good Friday. And that's how he's locking it up. Omelet in the uh, hotel, but this is the 7-Eleven. Oh, it looks like it's popping too. That little fridge. And this is all their food selection here. Look, so all these like rice boxes are like about $1 one dollar and fifty cents usd which is pretty cool and they're like full-on meals like rice meals <clears throat> Ooh, they even have like this patty rice patty with burgers oh nigiris of course yeah they have so much different rice options it's pretty cool maybe i'll try one of these i think uh oh this one looks good basil pork and rice let's get one of these i'm also looking for some sweets <laughs> so this looks cute. Strawberry ganache. We're gonna try that. And then this is chocolate, chocolate daifuku. I don't really like chocolate flavor that much, but that looks good. They have all these other stuff. This is their beverage section. They have a lot of different kind of milks and teas. Nothing that really caught my interest right now, but this one looks pretty normal. This is some of their uh, sweets. I have a sweet tooth right now for some reason. I want to eat something like mochi, but I don't want chocolate flavor. That's the issue. Oh, that looks good. Like a choc um, strawberry wafer. I'll get one of those. That's so cheap too. That's like, that's less than 50 cents. Wow. Spicy sausages here. They're going to heat up my meals for me. I also got some Pocky snacks. That's cool. Those are big foot long sausages. So I brought my first haul of food back to the hotel. This is the omelet and it comes with rice. He also gave me a sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle that on top. I love street food. Street food is seriously just the best. Mm, smells good. So this egg looks very deep fried. I didn't know it came with rice, so I'm pleasantly surprised. And this whole thing is only a dollar. Isn't that crazy? Let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh, that egg is cooked so well. Mmm. And the sauce is nice and spicy. It's a sweet, spicy sauce. The seafood in Asia is just so unbeatable. 
It's so good. It has a lot of toppings inside, a lot of vegetables. I love the basil in there. Makes it really fragrant. I think there's a little bit of ham here too, but the meat's not important to me. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Beautiful. That is a 10 out of 10 meal. The price, the flavor, everything was so good about that. Only downside is maybe it's a little bit oily because it's deep fried, but I love eating oily stuff, so I don't care. We also saw that skewer stand, so I'm gonna try out some of the skewers. We got a chicken one, like it's all red and barbecue y. Mmm, not too bad. These are 20 baht each, so it's 50 cents USD. Meat's a little bit tough, but it's okay. So it's the pork skewer. Oh. Mmm. This one's a lot more juicy. Mmm. The pork's a lot fattier. Mmm. Again, it's a sweet barbecue sauce. Both are very good, but I really like that pork one. Mm. Finally, moving on to my 7-Eleven stuff. I got the basil pork and rice. I got a sausage, they cut it up for me. I got some desserts, little wafers. They, um, the, uh, they also gave me some sauces. Looks like we have a package of fish sauce with chili and also some chili sauce. All right, let's try this out. How nicely they packaged this for me. And it comes like, like, like street food style. It's a little bit plain, but I think that's why they give me the chili sauce. So let's put some of the chili sauce on here. I asked for the uh, chili sausage, so I thought it'd be a little bit more spicy, but I guess it's not. Mm, oh. The sauce is very good. The sauce is chili, sweet chili. I love this. But the sauce is like much better. Mm. Otherwise, the sausage itself is a little bit plain, but it's okay. Yeah, delicious regardless. Mm. All right, let's open up this basil pork. Ooh, that was good. They heat it up for you too. They're really nice. I'm, I, I'm, I don't speak Thai at all but the majority of the people that I've encountered so far speak a little bit of English. Like the street food vendors, I was just like one, two, or like how much, like they understand that they can speak numbers, which is really good already. So let's try this. Looks like the rice has some seasoning in it. It looks like some sort of stir fry. Oh, oh, that has a spice. Wow. This is incredible. It has such good flavor. Mm. Yo, these are my people. I love this kind of food so much. And this chili sauce is like godsend. Mm. Now, I'm not much of a fish sauce person, but I'm gonna try this out. I'll try it. Let's dip some all over. Let's see how this tastes. It's tolerable. It's not as bad as I usually, I usually just don't like it because it gets too fishy, but it's okay. It's okay. I prefer still not to use it, but I'm able to use it. What I love with is this chili sauce. This chili sauce, this Thai chili sauce is so good. Oh my God. 
it's sweet, it's tangy, it's a little bit spicy. It's just so perfect for this dish. Mmm. Yo, this is amazing. I think this is a very popular addition, addition Thailand. And one of the challenges I have lined up is basil chicken rice challenge. So I'm so excited for that. This tastes so good. From the basil leaf to the chilies in here, there's just so much flavor in here. Mm. And the rice itself, it's not plain. The rice itself is so flavorful. Wow. This is 10 out of 10. Mm. Yum. I'm interested to see what this is. They're a little heart shaped. It's Valentine's Day right now. I know you. I'm going to have this video um, way after um, Valentine's Day, but it's Valentine's Day right now. That's when I filmed it. So let's try these little heart shaped treats. What does it taste like? You know the... It tastes like strawberry milk taffy. Very good. It has the uh, taffy consistency and strawberry condensed milk flavor. Mm. I also got this wafer. Let's try it out. In case you haven't noticed, I love pink and I love anything strawberry flavor. <laughs> Let's take a bite. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, I thought it was going to be dry. I really thought this was going to be dry, but this is actually really moist cake. And this is only like 30 cents. It's so good. Whoa. Mm. Amazing. So that was a good amount of food. I have the whole gym to myself right now and the swimming pool is right there. I might go for a swim afterwards. But you see the view here. It's actually a really beautiful view as I'm working out. Oh, man, that was some really good food. Can't wait to try out more and explore more of this. It is really sunny right now, so I don't, I don't even know where to go. I honestly am very lost. I have a Thailand friend. You're gonna see him later in other videos that's gonna show me around. But right now, I'm just like on my own free time exploring and it's really fun. Hey guys, this is the swimming pool. Oh. oh, nice. It's a good good temperature. All right, can't wait to go swimming. Walking around the streets right now, I found this cute little coffee shop, and luckily they have English written. So I found it to be very foreign friendly. I'm going to try out one of the lattes just to like wake me up. Just making it right now. Freshly made coffee. Reminds me of Vietnam. A little cute coffee. She made a cute little like jacket for it. The streets are very busy here in Thailand, but let's give this a try. Oh, that's good. Reminds me of Vietnamese coffee a lot, actually. Oh, okay. That wake me up. So I'm a very big lover of pastries, and all these look so interesting. Look at all this. Wow, I, I think that one looks really, really cool. Looks like some kind of like coconut pastry with filling inside, and there's like desserts here as well and whatever that is got my attention because I love like little moon cakes like this oh actually it has English mung bean Chinese pastries I love stuff like these this is on the way back to my hotel so I might pick these up oh my god winter melon sesame and fat pork Chinese pastries that looks so good oh my these god these massive moon cakes dude I am definitely getting some of these because I am so addicted to this kind of pastry so we're gonna stop by here when we get back, but let's walk towards my challenge. Oh, and they got cute cakes too. For dinner, I'm gonna try out some of these pals. Magic jumbo buns. These look good. Minced pork with salted egg. Or minced. Ooh, I wanna try bar the barbecue pork one actually. That looks good. Looks like char siu bao. And then we're gonna try one of these grilled pork Japanese sauce with fried egg. That looks good too. This pricing kind of ridiculous. This is only six baht. Isn't that crazy? That's only like 
10 20 cents for a strawberry wafer i'm gonna try some of these so this is what i got i know i said to keep it light i was only get a couple of things but i am so obsessed with this basil chicken i'm gonna try out the noodle this time i also found these um shumai sticks this wafer and this hamburger and this bun guys this is like only like three four dollars it's so cheap here all right let's try it out all right let me put my hair up so i won't get my hair dirty i just washed it i think that's why i got so sleepy because i washed my hair and then i felt really good and i just laid a bin and i passed out all right let's first try out this big barbecue bun Ooh. Ooh. it actually seems really nice and fluffy all right let's open it Ooh. that actually looks really good Mmm. Oh yeah. Got some hot sauce from the cashier again. This is almost dim sum quality bun. Wow. The filling is delicious. The bun itself, the steamed bun part, it's a little bit dry, just a tad bit, but it is very impressive for convenience store food. It's, it's 30 baht, so it's slightly less than a dollar. Hmm. Yeah, I honestly would throw this away. It was just a little bit too dry. But other than that, very delicious. Let's try out these um, shrimp shumai sticks. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I think one fell off. <laughs> that's okay. This is how it looks like. Looks legit. Hmm. It's a little bit plain, but eight pieces for like a dollar? <laughs> I'll take it. It's really good. Price-wise, it's 10 out of 10 for the amount you get, but flavor-wise, I would say like 6 out of 10, but still like decent if you're craving sumai. Eight pieces in this bag. Hmm. Right, that is great. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep after drinking Coke Zero, but you know what? It'll be fine. I'll just lay in bed and like relax. Oh, they even propped this one open a little bit for me. I like the fact that they uh, microwave for you because I can't read it. Sometimes I don't know how long it's supposed to be and stuff. So yeah, this is a grilled pork Japanese sauce with fried butter egg. That's how the burger looks like. Looks a little smushed, but this is only a dollar. Not bad, honestly. Mm. Nice egg on the top. I prefer this over like a McDonald's cheeseburger any day. It's actually pretty good. Mm. I really like the egg. I like I eggs on burgers.
I mean, now I just want my basil chicken spaghetti. Mm. So I love, I love this. I love this. I'm so excited to do a challenge on this. Like I would kill this flavor, man. I love this. I'm gonna make a recipe video. I've been making cooking videos on Instagram and I'm gonna go home and make this. It doesn't look too difficult. Just like pork and veggies and chilies and basil. Ooh, this actually looks so good. Mm. Okay. I would prefer the rice though. I would prefer the rice, but I think it's just because like it's the pasta's been sitting here, so it's a little bit not as chewy. It's not a al dente. Mm. Yeah, the noodles just aren't as bouncy as I like it, but again, this is a dollar, so. I'm not complaining. It was very good. But I would still like the rice more. I like rice. Rice with this is so good. Let's try my dessert. A strawberry wafer. Again, this is only six baht, which is like 20, 15 cents. Having a little bit of trouble opening it. I'll just break it into pieces. Oh, okay, there we go. It's a little bit dry. The cream is not as creamy, but still very good. Mm. All right, well, that concludes my 7-Eleven for 24 hours. I'm gonna go take a nap, try to fix my sleep schedule. But I, love 7-eleven when i ever go to asia because i'm always jet lagged and my sleep schedule is always whack so i can always count on 7-eleven to be 24 hours except apple pay and i can just grab a snack whenever and it's very affordable so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are looking forward to all my videos here in thailand and make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye